Hello, this is the intro to January. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura. I'm Ruby. And we are the January Gals. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen, but January is a project for women to come together, support one another, and grow up their body hair for the month of January. I'm a third year drama student at the University of Exeter. And um, for me, I, I just chose to grow up my body hair at for a one-woman show that I wrote and performed in in May 2018 and at first I felt very uncomfortable and self-conscious and then after starting to really embrace it and I had a bit of time of it growing it out I started to really love it and question myself as to why I was behaving this way with something that's so natural and some friends and family didn't understand it and they asked me if I was being lazy or if I was trying to prove a point and you know, we do ask these questions, but it's just why? Why do we ask them? And, and when you really think about that, it's 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 absurd. Mm. Um, we're not lazy. It's not about trying to prove a point as well. Why can't we just have our bodies mm. in their natural habitat and and that be okay? Um, so after helping friends and family like and explaining that situation and 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 why they ask those questions, um, they start to question themselves and their own opinions and understand it. And I wish, uh, this is sort of what the campaign is about because, well, it is what the campaign is about because uh, um, it's just spreading that message of how, how normal this really is and how we shouldn't feel judged for whatever decision we want to make with our bodies. It's mm -hmm. about choice. We can choose to shave, choose to not shave and do whatever we want with our bodies, but we should feel accepted for whatever choice that is. Yeah, I think it wasn't until I met Laura that I sort of started questioning my own feelings about my body hair because I, as sort of someone with a chronic illness, I do struggle to keep on top of my shaving, like bending down in the shower to shave my legs, things like that. There's a lot of days when I just can't handle that and I was feeling sort of gross and ashamed of that, of letting my body hair grow. And it wasn't until I met Laura that I kind of started challenging myself and thinking, well, why, why is it gross? Like, I physically am unable to do this often and I shouldn't be making myself feel bad for that. Nobody else around me was making me feel bad for it. It was simply just me. And I think that that's why January is so brilliant because it normalises the fact that all women grow body hair and all women are allowed to do with it what they want. And so whether that's grow it out for one month and then shave it for the rest, that's so fine. Whether it's to grow it out and dye it pink, that's also fine. <laughs> so I think that that's, yeah, that's why this campaign is so important and it's really, really had a positive effect on me personally as well. Yeah. The charity is Body Gossip and we're raising money for their performance project. So uh, the performance project is a, a writing and drama workshop and they go into school environments and they put on this workshop for people to understand more about their bodies and their body image and it's so important and I think mm -hmm. a lot of women who've got in touch about their stories to do with their body hair a lot of it has been um, starting in school environments mm -hmm. and how they've really struggled with that and um, especially for me I know my shaving obsession really um, like got more obsessive when mm -hmm. I was in a school environment I really wish I had them come to my school and they're just such a great charity so hopefully more yeah. people will donate and yeah yeah, I mean, we've had people contact, we've had girls contact us from as young as 12, basically saying that they support this project and that they are encouraged by it. I mean, as well as Laura, I know that I started getting obsessed with body hair when I was younger in school. People would sort of make fun of other people and then you'd feel self-conscious. And, and so I think that Body Gossip are doing a really, really great thing. And we just want to raise as much money as possible to, so that they can promote positive body image to the younger generations. Yeah, there isn't long, so get donating. Yeah. Yeah. We went to a, uh, the, we went to the Women of the World Festival together in Exeter in September and uh, it was really good fun, wasn't it? Was it was really good, yeah. It lots of great. really cool talks. And one of them we went to was the politics of body hair and it was a talk, a panel talk about um, the politics of body hair and what we found so interesting from that talk was the questions that came at the end and one of the things that got brought up by somebody who was watching it was um, about women feeling like they can embrace it together then they spoke about men having Movember and then like an alternative sort of got spoken about and then like I shouted out you could call it January yeah it and came up with a brilliant <laughs> pun of January <laughs> and they're like oh that sounds cool but then you know I think it got like further on in the months and I was just like, this really needs to get pushed. Mm. Like, this actually needs to happen because I think 
Um, for me anyway, obviously I was, I was embracing my body hair as well and I was like, I still got funny glances and people asking me, like friends not like finding it odd and not accepting it at first and I was just like, you know, this really needs to happen because this is just such a stigma yeah. and such a taboo and let's just get people talking about this in like, you know, in, in a way of this campaign. So yeah, just sort of pushed it and then sort of launched it at the beginning of December and it got it got quite big, didn't it? Yeah. Like it, it was over the over the month, more and more people like from like around the world were like, Oh yeah, I'm interested, like that'd be really cool. Um and like yeah, we got people from Russia, from USA, France, uh Germany and Spain and loads of other places. Yeah. And then that was and that was like like just in the month of December, which was really cool. And then BBC wanted to do an article and then it blew up yeah. in like two days. It took off from there really, didn't it? Yeah. There was loads of press coverage and just everyone wanted a piece of you, didn't they? <laughs> they all wanted to chat and get <laughs> interviews and since then we've kind of both been just absolutely crazy busy with yeah. radio interviews, with like articles, things like that. And yeah. it just, it's really, really taken off and it's so encouraging to see because there have been a lot of negative comments and mm. negative articles. I mean, yes. you've probably all seen Piers Morgan shouting about it on Good Morning oh. Britain. But for every negative comment that there's been, there's been a hundred positive ones. And I think that that's really, that those negative comments have really shown us, us why this campaign is so important. Because yeah. there is still like a huge stigma but I think January Harry has helped to just normalise it that tiny bit more and we hope that over the next couple of years when we run it again and again it will continue to do so. And hopefully we won't have to talk about it anymore mm. and it'll just be as it is which is pretty yeah. cool. There's a lot of people that have said oh why do you have to shout about it why do you have to take photos and show it off and, mm. and it's because there are a lot of people that feel uncomfortable in doing it as a group and doing it together is really empowering and has really helped spark a conversation about it which is what needs to be had really yeah. and like for me I, I grew it out my body hair out for uh, a show I was doing and without a reason for doing so I don't think mm. I would have pushed myself to do that as an individual um, and to break those um, self-inflicted like boundaries and I think yeah so this campaign is is giving some people an incentive if they need it to do so and people to share parts of themselves which they didn't feel like they could publicly share so so beautifully over like with a with a group of really supportive men and women mm. um so yeah a lot of a lot of support from both men and women on on the campaign as well this campaign is also about learning a lot more about ourselves and how we view our own bodies and from that we can learn how to view other people mm. um more and accept people more and love each other more. Yeah, I mean, I've got a quote from my 12 year old sister who decided to take part with me, which I think is just amazing. And it's, it's that, that sort of age group that we're really hoping to contact. And she sent me a little quote saying that, I think Jenny Harry is so important for young people because they feel pressured into a perfect body image, which can lead to mental health issues. Also, women are told it's gross to have body hair, but it's completely natural, so why should we hide it from the world? And I think for a 12-year-old to sum that up so perfectly is pretty amazing, really. Yeah. And she's, she said it all, really. Like, yeah. we should be able to do what we want with our bodies. Especially at the age of 12. For me, that was probably around the time I started shaving mm -hmm. and it started becoming a problem for me. Um, and it's so good at that age to notice that and mm. to... and. It's so great that this is reaching such mm. a, a, a age range as well. Of the in the sign up form, there are uh, age twelve to age eighty mm. uh, um, of women getting involved, and it's it's amazing that it's um, such a, a broad range of people. It's really good yeah. that we're we're speaking out to people who are um, it, they, at those ages as well when body um, image starts to become something that you get obsessed over. However people the older you get the more ingrained this this um stigma is and the more you have like these um re repeated like ways of, of viewing yourself and viewing other people hopefully this campaign will show everybody that it's just completely normal to be what you want to be right so we asked on our instagram for people to send in questions about Daniel Harry and 
we've chosen a couple that we are going to answer now. So the first one is from Mitsuviel. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I will I'll put it on screen. And the question is, what could help those who are in a relationship and anx anxious to embrace their body hair? So I guess it's have, have a conversation with your partner about um, their, you know, why, what their opinions are of it and how you want to have your body hair. And again, this is, this is what the, the campaign is about, is you make the choice to do what you want to do with your body hair, but make mm -hmm. sure that you're doing it for you. And if you find that you're not doing it for you and if for you you're you don't mind growing it out but it's for other people when other people see it that you're taking it off then ask yourself why and address that and i think with your um when you're in a relationship um it could be difficult because there are preferences and there are um uh it's yeah it's what the other person likes and what you know but i think at the same time if you want to do something with your body and your partner doesn't respect that or doesn't want you to do that then i think that's another question to ask yourself is mm. why um because if they really love you they should be happy and respect mm. you and for what you want to do with your body um but also something to say to, to the men is and who think that women should shave is why don't you go away for a month and shave everything uh ev like every day and then come back and tell me that i should do the same mm. yeah I so i mean in response to Piers Morgan calling everyone taking part in January lazy and revolting. What I challenge you to do, Piers, is to go and get a back sack and crack wax. <laughs> and then come back to us and see if you want to do that every month. And just, yeah, try it. Try it, Piers. <laughs> try try it, Piers. <laughs> so this question is from edaj underscore w. And they have said... How should we deal with rude family members concerning female body hair? I think that it's really tough when it's your family and they're sort of calling it disgusting or finding it unhygienic. It is really tough, but I think, again, the main thing to do is to just ask them why they think that and why they're sort of opposed to you growing out your body hair. And referring back to the campaign and sort of sharing, like maybe telling them about other stories and things like that could maybe help. Um, also, I mean, a lot of people do say, we've had a lot of comments, it's unhygienic, it's disgusting, blah, blah, blah. But actually that hair grows there for a reason. It's about having a conversation with them, um, asking them why they have these opinions and just keep asking them why like what but why do you think like that but but why is that something yeah but but why do other people think that mm. and i think it will end up at a dead end like oh i don't know because it is such a it's an absurd um you know social norm that we have to abide by and i think it's just important to challenge that i think as well, there are going to be some opinions that some very stubborn people who don't want to change their opinions. So I think sometimes it's just about having the courage to be able to um, do it without having to have their acceptance. This question is from Nev Irvine and they have said, any plans to make this a year round organisation? We've actually had this question quite a lot um, and actually it's up to the individuals who are involved and who are um, challenging themselves with growing out their body hair. You do it for as long or as little as you want to because of course it's about choice. Shave whenever, whenever you want. And um, I think it would, yeah, taking it into February and March, you hairy or whatever, <laughs> it, it could be something, but it's, I think that's down to individuals because um, having it in a solid month uh, means that there is an end goal for some mm. people who who feel like they this wasn't for them and okay I, I want to challenge it till this certain point with all these other people so some people having that period that that month solid period like mm. when you do dry january and mm. vegan january. january what's it called january dry january dry, dry, dry january <laughs> what the month is called <laughs> i wonder what that one's about dry january wow <laughs> so i think sometimes it's good for people to have that end goal for um for themselves but again yeah it's up to you whoever's mm. involved for me personally mm. after this month i'm gonna carry on growing out my body hair because I, I miss it mm. but but for me mean... i probably will go back to waxing because it's just my personal preference. preference but i do think that by taking part it's made me a lot sort of less ashamed of my body hair and and i do feel like if i did want to grow it out then i would feel a lot more comfortable in doing so so I think that the end goal, sort of having it just as a set month, is really important for us girls who do like to shave because it kind of 
sets that challenge, raises those questions, but also it's not about growing your body hair and being hairy for the rest of your life. I think that's, that's yeah. not what the campaign's about at yeah, all. Yeah, no, not at all. Some women personally might not want to carry on being, having hair there, which is fine. And then, yeah, yeah. do whatever you want with yeah. your hair. Um, so yeah, this is January. Hairy. Yeah. If there are any more questions or anything else, then um, send us a message. Mm -hmm. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to answer them through um, people's stories as well. If you have any stories you want to share with your body hair or any experiences, whether you shave or you don't shave, it would be great to hear them so we can share them with everybody. Um, so yeah, do send them in over Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. Um, so that's where all the pages are, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Mm, yeah, they will be linked down below. So if you mm -hmm. want to check them out, then check them out. go have a look. Yeah, and on Instagram and Facebook as well, you can see a lot more of the stories if you want to have a listen, um, a, a listen read uh, to other people's stories uh, as well. Then that's a place to go. Yes, but also the main thing that you can find on these pages is the link to our crowdfunding page for Body Gossip. Gossip. And we want to just raise as much money as possible. So please, please, please donate. Every penny counts. Yeah. And let's sort of promote positive body image for young girls and young boys. And let's keep January Harry going. Let's keep it going. And, hopefully... and keep it growing. <laughs> keep it growing. Let it yes. grow. Hopefully. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, thank you. And yes, we look forward to hearing from you and seeing your stories and your progress pics yeah. soon. Yeah, stay yes. in touch. Watch this space. Thank you guys. <laughs>